And that's the service truck. What year? This was, this was the picture was taken in 1953. We spotted Mauro Salazar. And this is my uniform. Yeah. Sitting in this waiting room. As a security guard. Yes. Flipping through his iPhone as fast as any millennial. Yeah, that was a long time ago. A few weeks ago, Morrow got this note, letting him go as a light-duty security guard. Well, I was doing security at Town Square Villas in Green Acres four nights a week. And then I was doing parking enforcement at Montecito two nights. Tough times typically don't trouble him too much. You see, Morrow has seen a thing or two. He is a Korean War veteran. I was headed to Korea, and I ended up in Tokyo. Decades later, Morrow never dreamed at 92 years young. He'd be sitting here at Career Source Palm Beach County, in the queue, looking for work. I got to work. Got to pay my real estate taxes and homeowners insurance. And... Morrow's security side hustle was paying just enough to keep him in his family's home. Yeah. It's where he and his wife, Dolores, raised their kids. Been in the house since 1967. This is my home now, and I want to stay in it. But Florida's skyrocketing insurance premiums have put him underwater. And you can't believe how it went up. I think Governor Sanders is going to have a special session. I'm between a hard place and a rock. At the same time, right around the corner at Career Source, our cameras caught up with Ruby Gilbert. I'm retired, but unfortunately, due to the economic condition and the housing condition, uh, we are forced at my age, 64, to enter back into the workforce. She worked in corporate America for 45 years, but retired when COVID hit. My car stays parked. I can't go on vacations because of the gas. And I am on a fixed income. So, uh, you know, we can't travel, can't do anything. She lives on $40,000 a year between pension and Social Security. Her month to month was already tight, but the recent rise in rent? Oh, you got a whole set of elderlies that are in my price range for his salary, we do not qualify for anything. So we are forced to come out of retirement and supplement our income just to afford a place to live. She's not alone. The numbers show 1,661 people ages 60 and over in Palm Beach County alone lined up for work just in the last month. Mostly because of COVID, it wasn't a safe situation for them to be in. We were in lockdown. So they decide to stay into retirement. But now because of economic situations, cost of food, cost of gas, they can't afford their retirement. And their retirement portfolios are diminishing right now. So they want to come back and get a part-time job, a full-time job, and in some cases, two, char two jobs. This is one of the largest pools of people you've seen, 60 and over, that are starting to come in the, the door. Mm -hmm. Besides getting back to work, seniors are also studying their investments right now, many tightening their spending. Anytime we, we meet with someone and anytime we work with someone, we're always focused on what's the source for income. Taylor Northrup has been a financial advisor for 17 years at Buttleman & Associates in West Palm Beach. So if you're approaching retirement or if you're in retirement and the market is falling like it is now, does it make sense to keep taking money from the same source of income? Or should you have in your retirement blueprint another place to take income from? So you can ride the wave because you don't know when you retire. Am I the one who retired at the worst possible time? You have to have a plan that has something in place. A financial backup plan that many seniors simply don't have right now. So like Mauro Salazar, it means finding work. I can find somebody that'll harm me. But if the work thing doesn't... You never know. ...work out? <laughs> well, it's a homeowner's insurance, FHA homeowner's insurance. So they'll foreclose on me. It's a comfortable car. Seats lay all the way back, a Lincoln Town car. I could live with my son somewhere. 